You're Robin Williams, and everyone you love is in perfect health. You're a selfish idiot. Get out of my office. Get some balls. Bam. He'd still be alive today. I think that's stupid comment Why? and ignorant because. Why? Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. So let's take Robin Williams as an example. Famous, multi-millionaire, everyone loves him. How could he possibly kill himself? I'll tell you why. Because when he walked into the therapist's office and said, I feel depressed, the therapist said, okay, here's some mind-altering drugs. Start taking these. And then I need to see you six hours a day every day, and we're going to talk about sad things for the next 10 years. He was in therapy for 10 years. Oh, okay. yeah. But if he would have walked into the therapist's office and the therapist said to him, you're Robin Williams. There are people in the world with no food. Yeah. There are families in Syria. I say this there every are time. school buses being bombed in Yemen. There are people who lost their entire family in a car crash today. You're Robin Williams and everyone you love is in perfect health. You're a selfish idiot. Get out of my office. Get some balls. Bam. He'd still be alive today. How do you feel about that? He's saying basically Robin Williams kind of killed himself because the therapist gave him drugs and pretty much every day was sad stories rather if the therapist had said listen you're Robert Williams there's other people out there with more problems than you basically and you're here sad for what I think that's stupid comment Why? and ignorant because Why? that just shows me that he doesn't really know much about mental health for him to be making comments like that and thinking that um, if he just were to tell someone who was depressed Look at the world. Everything is crashing apart and yeah. your life is perfect. Bitch. Like, don't kill yourself. You should be happy. <laughs> like, it doesn't work like that. Like, yeah, of course, if someone was to tell somebody that, then you they think like, oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. I should be happy, but I'm not. Why yeah. don't I feel happy? What's wrong with my what's wrong with me? What's yeah. wrong with my mind? Why am I always sad? Even yeah. though I know I, I have some things, but then also I have some issues. But if we're referring to Robin Williams, that shows you something. This is a man who has everything, money, fame, healthy family. That's what the take yeah. I said. Um, people loved him. You know what I mean? He had everything, but, what was wrong? What was the issue? So obviously it's a, it's so much more than just being like, you have this and this. Like clearly he has everything and you'd think someone would be extremely happy with their life, but it's deeper than that. Yeah. And he was suffering with something. We don't know his personal life. We just see what he shows, right? Yeah. Who knows? Behind closed doors, he is really not a hap like a happy guy or maybe like... um he doesn't have many friends or whatever. We, like, we don't know yeah. those stuff about him. And if he's suffering from something, maybe he was bullied and whatever in his past. And that's something that stuck with him or something more deeper happened. And it's, it sticks with you. It forever sticks with you. And it's something that people continuously try to fix. Right. Yeah. And change. And it's a process. But I think so, what he was trying to start to cut you off. We trying to say he went to therapy and, Therapy did nothing from. Still end up killing himself. So what's the point of going to therapy and taking all these drugs for when he, he still end up killing himself? So it was a waste of time. Didn't he work. was in too deep. Like, like it's. It didn't work, right? It doesn't work for everybody. So because we can sit here and name a bunch of celebrities that killed themselves. Okay, let's go with the most recent one. Uh, the dancer guy. Um, trick. Is it, what's his name again? Trick. Uh, no, it's not trick. The the dancer guy that just switch switch. He, he, like he legit posted a video 24 hours before all dance mm -hmm. and all happy. And then what happened? He just had his celebrated anniversary. Like right, a couple and what days happened? ago. And he no killed one, himself. No, like why? Like he had like, everything. He looked like a happy guy. He looked, he loved dancing. He loved his wife. He was what? I think they were expecting another baby. Mm, no. So what they were expecting? Oh, they had, just had a newborn. No. The, he has two kids. He had two kids with her. And then she had a kid with someone else. So they had like a, a family unit, but like obviously he was dealing with something in his mind that he couldn't switch off, right? And the problem with that, like I said, most times men feel like they can't even talk about it. I think that's that's that that's the issue that in the West, a lot of men feel like they can't talk about their emotion. They just keep it bottled in and builds up and builds up till when it gets to the breaking point, 
and everyone's like, what's wrong with you? And then it's too late. And then that too, a lot of men can't speak about those things. And like Andrew Tate's a great example because it's like if Robin Williams would call him up and be like, hey, yo, Tate, I'm feeling like this. I feel like that. He was like, yo, you idiot. You are, you're a millionaire. You're famous. Blah, blah, blah. Like. But maybe they need to hear that. Sometimes you need to hear that. Yeah, shit. but that doesn't help nothing. Like, come on. It doesn't. Maybe it would have boosted him. I don't know. I boost him for like those two minutes on the phone. And then when he hangs up, he's back to. Mm-mm. I mean, maybe you talk to the talk to the guys and be like, yo, what's what's the deal? What's your problem? Like I said, you all, people can have people to speak with and people may not have people to speak with. Yeah. But if let's say you do have someone to speak with and you are depressed, it. It's not going to change anything. No, it's not. Well, I don't know. I, I, I feel like sometimes people need to hear that, that tough kind of uh, motivational speech kind of yeah, thing. But it's not like what you say to someone who's like suicidal. <laughs> well, it, it, it came to the point because he couldn't talk about it. I feel like most men don't feel like they can talk to anyone about it. Yeah, that's true. Right? Most men, and they, they try. And the thing about it is, sometimes if your wife or whatever, I'm pretty sure someone must have knew about. Like, let's stick to Robin Williams. Someone must have knew something was wrong with him, but yet no one really spoke about it. Like, he probably felt like to the point came to the point where he had he feel like I had, have no one in my life, so that can I can talk to about my personal issues. Mm-hmm. And he said, "You know what? I'm done." And that was it. He tried the therapy thing, and then I was done. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Robin Williams really tried. I'm yeah. pretty sure he really tried to like not feel that way and right. it just ate at him and he just couldn't deal with it anymore. And yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it's like to get to that point, but yeah. like he got there. So I know a lot of guys that suffer in silence. They won't mm-hmm. know because they feel like they have to keep this parents on, keep the family together. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, on the inside, they're just breaking down because sometimes they try to open up and women are, or whoever, especially women, I find, don't open up to women. Your guy don't open up. But when you try to open up to women and they hear what re- you're really thinking about or what's going on in your head, they don't like it or they may not like it. And then they kind of uh, distance themselves. Um, well, that depends on who you're speaking to because not everyone can handle um, That's the thing about people's not- uh, griefs or issues. Like- and do you think women st- or people start to distance themselves once they hear certain things. Depends on the person. Right? Depends on the person, but majority of people distance themselves from that person. I think it depends on the person. It depends on the relationship. You think that you can talk to a person after 10 years like you've been with, and it wouldn't act that way. But And I think that's probably what happened with Robin Williams. He just got more depressed. He probably tried opening up to maybe his wife, and his wife couldn't handle it. And then she told, well, I think she maybe should go to therapy. And then in his head, he's like, well, we've been married together for, for how many years? And I, and I can't talk to you about how I feel. Can you tell me go to go to a therapist instead? Well, that's what it comes down to, though. If I had a husband, boyfriend. I think therapists just are a waste of money. They just rip off. Therapists, drugs, all this stuff. I think it just comes down to your will and the people, good people around you. you gotta, um, gotta keep good people around you. I mean, uh, it depends. I feel like if I had a boyfriend or whatever and he came up to me um, with problems, I'm not... Uh, registered therapist no. I didn't go to school for that but I am pretty good with giving it advice right um but one of my advice and, and depends on like what the situation is I would say go talk to someone who is who specializes in that and then maybe you have something and then you can go from there get medication whatever it is and then see if it even helps you like people tend to like get scared when medication is brought up yeah, right? I'll agree on that. So it's not like uh, something that you are forced to do, but it's something that you should at least try to do well, and the, see how it makes you because feel. Because I feel like once people get on drugs or stuff like that, they become dependent on these drugs. And this is what these drug companies want. They want people to get dependent on these drugs. Huh. Well, like, again, that like depends on the person too because there are people who do get, who have like the addictive like gene yeah, or and, whatever yeah, in them. And get hooked on these drugs. And I feel that's what mm-hmm. these companies want. You get so it's, it's all like I don't believe in any of these things. I just think it's a waste of time. Like I, I I've been there. I tried therapy a long time ago, and I thought it was a waste of time. I had uh, ADHD when I was younger, and my mom tried took me to the doctor. I was on uh, pills for a while, and then my mom's like, "No, I don't need that." But what my mom did instead was 
dopamine in a lot of sports, burn off the energy. And now that I'm older, I feel like I, I control it. Yes, there are times when I get a little hyper, but I control it pretty well, I find. So I think it's mind over matter or something, mind over body. Like it depends on the person as well. Mm-hmm. I'd have a strong will, I guess, to, to handle certain things. Yeah, and right. it also depends on what it is, the issue. Like, that's like, you can't tell someone who's schizophrenic <laughs> to be like, oh, yeah, just um, not listen to the voices. Like, you know? Right. Because they, they're, they have, they're like lost. They don't know what's reality. So, yeah. You know, okay. That, that yeah, be, I guess it comes down, depends on the person. Yeah. But also depends. You got, I feel like you have to keep good people around you. Like, what? Like, I don't know how these schizophrenic thing. Like, you brought that up. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about that. I was thinking, like, is this something they were just born with from, like, a kid? Or is this something that traumatic, like, dramatically happened in their life that made them schizophrenic? It's more like genetics. So if your family has it, suffers from it, it could be passed down to, like, your kids. Yeah. And then if that child is fine, right? Yeah. But then they um, experience a very traumatic, something very traumatic. Yeah. It can release... um it can release like the symptoms in them and then they can become schizophrenic. I also think like people can just get schizophrenia um, just by something traumatic as well. Yeah. I, I would think it's like something that triggers it. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. Again, I just think something that tr- uh, triggers it. Cause I know in, in my family, I remember people are saying like, Oh, your uncle went crazy at this age. Your, 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 your grandfather went crazy at this age. Everyone just goes crazy. I'm like, okay, well I guess I'm not going to crazy. I hope I'm going to stay positive in my life keep a lot of positive people around me and that's that's what i've been doing at least just thinking trying to think positive about everything yeah i have my moments where i'm down but i just personally think if you try to keep positive people around you it really boosts your your spirit and you, how you feel right mm-hmm. that's, that's just me yeah yeah all right so uh other than that i think that's pretty much it um what do you think about our boy still you still like our boy you <laughs> you like that last one kind of like uh we did not like him again. Um, I mean, so the last that. thing with Robin Williams. Didn't agree with that? No, like the way not he said at all. That? Not just the way he said it. Just It just was all incorrect. Mm. You know, you can only, it, it's like, I understand if it's someone who's just sad. Yeah. Just sad. They're not depressed. They're just sad. Yeah. Doesn't suffer from depression. Just like, oh, I'm having a bad day today. Then you can be like, oh, you idiot. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's people like this. But if someone's like, depressed and like they wake up depressed and everything is just sad like throughout weeks months then yeah. that's different you can't tell them that but if it's just some regular person that's just like oh i'm sad life sucks yeah then i'd understand to say that but that wasn't robin williams case yeah you guys want more of this make sure you guys hit that subscribe button all right so anyways we're out do it Just do it!